Yes, guys, we have breaking news. Apple just announced that we are having M4 Max next week. Now, they didn't say M4, they just said Max next week, starting Monday morning. That's the tweet from Greg Joswiak with this really cool animation with the Finder icon from the Mac turning into an Apple logo. And there is a little bit of an Easter egg because you see the Finder icon winking, which it usually doesn't do, which to me points to that little four that's made out of the nose. Of course, that might be speculation, but we do know it's M4 Max coming next week based on just months and months of leaks and rumors from Mark Gurman. So much confirmation. Of course, we had the Russian M4 leak that showed, yes, we have the M4 chip. Just a ton of different leaks that confirm next week M4 Max. Now, based on information from Mark Gurman, which he said that on Wednesday next week, influencers have been invited and they have different time slots to go to a studio that Apple made in LA to check out these new Mac machines. And the craziest thing is that Mark mentioned some of those scheduled times are before 10 a.m., which is Apple's usual event date. Of course, now we know there is no event, but at first it was really weird. Why would it be scheduled earlier? Well, because we're getting press releases. One on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. And as soon as the third one on Wednesday goes live, that's when the influencers are showing up and testing out all three of those brand new Macs. And the big question we got to talk about in this video is the order in which those Macs are coming and also everything you need to know about those Macs before next week. So let's jump right into it. Now, I personally think that it makes sense for Apple to release the most important and most popular product first on Monday because that's all the hype that they're building around Monday morning. So they better go out with a bang with that first product. So I think it's going to be the M4 MacBook pros of course we have the lower end and the higher end which mark german just this morning confirmed we're getting the low end and high end macbook pros the imac and some redesigned mac midi models with the m4 and m4 pro chip now starting with everything you need to know about the m4 macbook pro to see if you actually want to upgrade or not when it actually comes next week well first of all it's already leaked into russia there was a couple youtubers that already got it at least the base model we know for sure that it's getting 16 gigabytes of ram the the base model is now getting a Thunderbolt port on the right side, which it did not have before, and it is now just like this higher end model. We already know the performance benchmarks. I'll show the charts up right now so you can see how much faster it is compared to the previous model. It's definitely a huge boost, but in terms of the M4 Pro and M4 Max chips, I actually estimated the performance with different calculations and you can see those charts right now. It's crazy that the M4 Pro is gonna be basically as fast or faster than the 14 core M4 Max in terms of CPU. That's just nuts. The graphics is gonna get boosted as well. And the M4 Max chip isn't gonna be as big of a difference, but it's still gonna be nice. And as far as the feature set, the design, nothing is changing. No design changes, nothing expected to change on the high-end models. The display is not getting upgraded, so don't get too excited about that. It's just a spec bump with better chips, making it a better time to upgrade if you haven't already. Now onto the next product, I actually think it's gonna be this guy right here, the iMac on Tuesday morning. Why? Well, because it's the middle of the announcements, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's kind of like the most boring update. So I think it's happening on that day, leaving the last Mac on Wednesday. Now, this thing is getting even less or even fewer changes. Literally just the M4 chip, that's it. We're not expecting the M4 Pro or nothing. We might get an additional port on the higher end iMac model. So five instead of the current four with three of them now being Thunderbolt, which is really cool. That's of course due to the M4 chip having four Thunderbolt controllers built in instead of the previous two. So basically, don't expect any changes, no display changes, no nothing, but we are expecting USB-C accessories, the Magic Mouse, the Magic Trackpad, the Magic Keyboard, all getting USB-C potentially with some new colors, which the iMac might also get, but don't expect like drastically redesigned accessories. They're already really good. Apple's likely just gonna swap out the ports and that's it. And then finally, I hope I don't drop this, we got the Mac Mini see that right here, Mac mini. This is the current one. This design has actually not changed for basically 15 years, almost 15 years. Can you believe that? 
hasn't changed. So why is Apple not doing an Apple event to show this off? I don't know. I guess they're just doing a press release likely Wednesday morning on this guy. I mean, I might be wrong. The order might be different. So let me know your thoughts down below, but this is supposed to be basically two times smaller with the internal power brick staying on the inside. Can you believe that? Basically almost as small as an Apple TV, which I don't have here in the office, but it's absolutely tiny. And Apple is changing everything about it. We're getting the M4 chip and the M4 Pro, which is a big deal because the current Mac mini only has the M2 and the M2 Pro. So you're skipping a generation. You're getting a much bigger boost in performance for this guy. You can see the charts above. This is definitely a good upgrade. Even if you already have the M2 Mac mini, it's still worth upgrading to this new one because you're getting such such a big boost and you got the new design. It's going to look absolutely beautiful. And the cool thing is that Mark Gurman has said that Apple is completely redesigning the back in terms of the ports. Instead of getting these two USB-A ports, they are going away forever. And we're getting up to five USB-C ports. We're still keeping Ethernet and we're still keeping HDMI. It's likely going to get updated, but five USB-C ports and check this out. We're gonna get two of them on the front, just like we have on the Mac Studio. That is gonna be absolutely amazing. And as far as the three on the back, they're gonna support Thunderbolt. Yes, three Thunderbolt ports, just such a massive upgrade with this new Mac Mini, and it's likely gonna support even more external displays. Let me actually move my chair in the middle. I feel weird being kind of off center, but this thing's gonna be absolutely amazing when it comes. We're definitely gonna buy one. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna compare it to other machines, other all-in-ones. It's gonna be such a powerful Mac that it's gonna be basically good enough to not have to buy the Mac Studio for a lot of people. Probably 90% of people with what you do, you'll be fine with the M4 Pro upgraded model. And even the M4, it's getting 16 gigs of RAM. It's gonna be upgraded so nicely in terms of multitasking and everything else, the performance boost, it's gonna be a great machine all around. So you guys can probably probably tell how excited I am for next week. It's going to be such a blast to see these new Macs finally come out. And especially when we start doing benchmarking and testing and everything else, it's going to be amazing. So if you're as excited as I am for these new Macs, definitely subscribe above so you don't miss out on all of our testing and benchmarking videos. Definitely check out one of those two videos right there, especially the iPad mini comparison that we just did. That was a really good one. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.